Hi guys, Ronnie here. Uh, it's been a while since I posted a tech related video uh, with the topic of uh, chain lubrication and chain boxing. And now that I have some new findings, I really want to share that with you to apply these to the best uh, way possible and the best, uh, they can have the best kind of system in there. So uh, throughout the summer and even in the autumn, uh, at least where I live, the conditions are quite dry for the most of the time. And what I do on my road bike and time trial bike uh, in this period is basically I use three sets of chains in parallel. So that means I have six chains to box every time uh, I need to do a rear loop. And basically I use those until I use them up, until all of them are quite loud, noisy and dry. And that way I don't have to mess around with uh, one chain at a time. And this works perfectly uh, when the conditions are mostly dry. Of course when I ran into a wet ride, I went out anyway. But then that chain was no longer really uh, usable without uh, doing anything to it. But that's not really a problem because most days are dry. But now uh, in the winter uh, it's kind of the opposite. So most of the rides are actually at least partially wet and that makes uh, dry box bolt and speed wax chain uh, quite short lived and I'd have to keep them uh, uh, I have to keep switching them very often that way and the problem with that is I didn't really have the time because I was at university, I had a lot of work to do uh, in the shop so that's not really what I wanted to do because well I had to re-wax my chains basically every week and that, that wasn't very doable so instead I started experimenting with a kind of a double lubrication system. Uh, previously I recommended uh, the squirt loop which I've used for pretty much the season and it's an excellent product. Uh, one problem with it though is that if you ride it uh, in dry conditions for a long time the box uh, doesn't get completely dry and starts to build up uh, on the chain rings, on the jockey wheel in the kind of a gunky and sticky way and it's it's not really all that pleasant and the chain gets also quite gunky and stiff from it as well uh, so that that was not ideal long term you have to keep uh, on top of that uh, to clean your chain rings your cassette and so on from time to time uh, to make it really nice and smooth Whereas this is not the case with the dry box, with the molten speed wax, and that way it's better. But the advantage of the skirt loop is of course you can reapply it anytime. So uh, I started using it in a way that I had my three chains boxed up uh, using molten speed wax. And then even when I got to a wet ride, I said no problem, I'll try lubricating it with squirt afterwards. And turns out it works. Uh, very very well because the chain is extremely well lubricated uh, because the dry wax, the molten speed wax gets all the way into the chain when you cook it so it doesn't just uh, disappear that easily doesn't wear off but after you go to a wet ride you'd have to clean it completely to put your clean wax but instead you can use some squirt loop put a very slight amount on there and it will refresh your chain, refresh the boxing. The boxes will kind of blend together. And the good thing is, when you're riding a lot in the wet, it will basically just wash off any excess squirt loop you might put in there. And I've been using it well, basically since November, like this. And uh, since then, I've been only on one chain. So I have all my other chains uh, boxed up and ready. Ready for the next season, I decided to uh, try this one th during the winter, even though I probably won't because the friction is so low, but anyway. 
Yeah, so this is the combination I started using and it turns out it works uh, very well on the cross bike as well. I've been uh, at two quite muddy races and everyone was just basically grinding away with the chain making extremely nasty noises. Some, some guys even broke their chains and I was spinning along quite nicely. So yeah, it works in dirty conditions. So yeah, this is my recommendation for now. For dry riding, of course, and racing, it's optimal that you only keep the motor speed back, so keep your chain extremely clean every time uh, you redo it. Uh, you put the race powder on there, but if you're just training, dirty conditions, then apply some motor speed wax, then keep retopping it with squirt lube. So this is my recommendation for now, for the winter. One other product I'm going to try, and you've been asking uh, for it, and I wanted to try it for myself, that's the Ceramic Speed uh, UFO Drip, and I have some ordered, some packaging of that, but uh, they haven't arrived, so I hope they will do soon. If you'd like to see more about that, then stay tuned to the channel. Uh, as for now, I think that's... Uh, all regarding this method of chain lubrication. I hope it works for you, let me know in the comments. Uh, and if you'd like to know more about my bikes, the builds I've recently done, then check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.